Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis. Good to be back with you guys. Know it's been a little bit since our last tape breakdown. I was in Mobile, Alabama for the 2022 Senior Bowl. Had a lot of fun down there, a lot of coverage on Steelers Depot about the week that was down in Alabama. But we're back with some Pittsburgh Steelers film room. I didn't want to go too long without doing another All-22 breakdown. And today, I want to discuss Trey Nurwood. Uh, rookie seventh-round pick had a really strong initial season, played more than what I thought, played much better than I thought he would. And his coverage ability and sub-package and dime rolls and ability to make plays on third down especially is really going to compel uh, this Steelers team to play this guy a lot more his sophomore season in 2022. And so that's what we'll look at today, just a handful of breakups and plays that Norwood made in coverage. First example comes here in week six, third down against Seattle. Motion here makes this two by two, little match uh, man coverage here. Uh, number two is going to stay in the pass block, trying to take care of TJ Watt here on this third down. Number one, Tyler Lockett's going to run the drag route over the middle of the field. And so Norwood's going to pick him up with number one going inside, kind of an under call. You'll see Joe Hayden point to Norwood here, but he already knows to to pick it up here based on the route that number one uh, Lockett runs. And just a good job here to, you know, get in phase and make the play, undercut the route and, and break it up here on third down. So Norwood right here, getting eyes here. Number two, staying in the block on TJ Watt, getting eyes on number one running in. You see Hayden trying to point to him, but Norwood's already picking it up. And then just run, get in phase, and make the play. Be aggressive at the catch point, undercut that route, get his hand in there, and break it up. And so a nice job here to identify the route, uh, pick up his man, undercut the route, make the play, and get the Steelers' defense a stop on third down. Norwood had a really strong performance in Week 10, the tie against the Detroit Lions. Third and 10 here, a bit of pre-snap confusion for Pittsburgh, who's going to uh, align on number one wide here, but Norwood's able to get over in time. Bush actually does a decent job to communicate that, but the bottom line is Norwood making the play. And I thought coming out of Oklahoma, there's some questions about his overall size and physicality. He wasn't shy against the run, just has a, you know, svelte, more lanky frame, and was he a super physical guy? And I thought overall as a tackler, he, again, he wasn't incredibly physical, but a pretty strong and reliable tackler um, for a rookie. And so a nice job here making the tackle on the receiver here, uh, a guy much bigger than him, and getting that stop on third down. And understanding some of the you know down distance, Detroit was throwing a lot of quick game here, even on third and long. And so Norwood just a good job here. It's a little bit of a low tackle, but it's a bigger guy, so you're going to go low on him. And the bottom line is you, get, you, you, know, you get the guy down, you get your defense off the field. And so Norwood really made some plays on third down this season. Nice job here by Norwood on this switch release by number one, number two, kind of a post wheel uh, combination. Number one running the post, number two is going to run the wheel. And so Norwood able to match and carry that, not get caught up in any sort of trash here from the receiver, Cam Sutton. And then again, getting back in phase. And this one's tough too, because that wheel, usually you're thinking that ball is going to be downfield kind of ahead of you. They throw back shoulder on this play. And so Norwood's got to react to that as well. And a good job just to compete and, and, and contest at the catch point there and break this pass up. So we'll look at it from the, End zone view, and you'll see the catch point here. Norwood defending this basically back shoulder wheel uh, route, this throw from Jared Goff. And so a good job here to contest the high point that and uh, break this pass up and almost gets picked off by Minka Fitzpatrick. But a nice job here by Norwood. Um, just, you know, staying clean, getting in phase, being able to adjust, uh, find the football here on a pretty difficult route to defend. Overtime, third clip here from the Lions game. Last one, we'll look at third and 23. The Lions taking a shot here. Really no time left here in overtime, under two minutes to go. And so they're going to just try to take a shot and see what happens. And Norwood, again, making a play. Not a perfectly thrown pass here by Jared Goff, but watching Norwood here carry number two um, on this corner route, get his head around here as he's able to um, you know, match this route as the receiver breaks to the sideline. And so, like I said, get his head around, find the football, and break it up. And again, a third down stop here. Um, recurring theme of this video. So Norwood right here, going against the number two receiver, be able to match his route, get his head around, find the football. It's a little thrown, you know, uh, thrown behind. And so it's, you know, not the most difficult play for Norwood to make as opposed to this pass, kind of leading the receiver more to the sideline. But again, find the football, uh, high pointing, contesting at the catch point there. And really the receiver has to play the DB here just to break this pass up. And so bottom line is you get that stop there on third down. And that's a rookie making a big play in a big situation.
clips I've shown so far show a lot of man coverage from Trey Norwood. Now let's take a look at zone coverage. And this is against Kansas City Week 16, the regular season matchup. Looks like inverted cover two Pittsburgh's going to run here with Fitzpatrick spinning down. Uh, Sutton's going to play deep half to replace deep half here from Terrell Edmonds. And so you'll have basically uh, Norwood and the corner to the bottom, that is Akella Witherspoon being the flat defender. But you're also reading routes and trying to match and get depth that there's no uh, receiver in the flat, and you're going to get you know both receivers, number one, number two, running vertically on this play. And so Norwood sees number one, he's going to run vertical, number two is going to run vertical as well, and so he's going to carry that as well and get depth as opposed to just playing the flat on this play. And does a nice job to squeeze this throw here um, on this divide route, this post corner combination here by these two receivers. And so Norwood able to get depth here, squeeze that throw. There's also pressure on the play that certainly helps as well. So we'll look at it again here, and Norwood just carrying this route here and squeezing this throw. And if he doesn't do that, if he stays in the flat, now the back does leak out, and you could say, what do they throw to the to the flat there? But you'd rather have the the you know the, the throw underneath and be able to rally and tackle the catch as something behind you, especially against the very scary and potent Chiefs offense. And so um, Norwood here just able to squeeze this throw really well and force the incompletion along the left sideline. Finally, two clips from the Chiefs game, the wild card loss, two clips of Norwood in man coverage, replayed some of his best ball this season. Pittsburgh, I think, played generally a bit more man coverage in some of these dime packages when they had more you know, defensive backs on the field. So third and eight here for KC on their first drive of the game. You'll see Norwood here manned up against Travis Kelsey as they're bringing uh, DB pressure on this play. And I just like the aggressiveness here. Uh, he's going against Kelsey. You know, that's a guy they're going to target on third down. It's a big guy. If you let him... Catch the ball, you're not really aggressive on the football. You're not going to probably rip the ball out. You're risking a missed tackle, a lot of yak. You know, coming into that week, all they talked about, the Steelers did, was uh, limiting Kelsey Yak. And honestly, the best way to limit Kelsey Yak is not allowing him to catch the ball in the first place, as opposed to gambling on you being able to tackle him um, in space, especially for a smaller DB. So I run this thing through. Good leverage here inside initially. Sees Kelsey break down. Um, you know, because he's not going to be able to cross his face here. So he's just trying to sit down away from leverage and then rally and make the aggressive play, you know, attack the football here, not just simply tackle the catch. And so Norwood eyes on the football the whole way through, puts his hand out, dives, and makes the breakup. So really good, good job here of leverage um, initially. And then once he sees Kelsey declare that route, he's going to be aggressive, match that route as well. And uh, again, attack the football, not just simply you know, being okay with tackling the catch or just trying to rip the football out. You're going to be the one attacking the football, and that's a really good play on third down against arguably the best tight end in football. Last example also comes on third down, and we talk about plastering a lot as a secondary. When you're facing all these mobile quarterbacks you are today, you're going to have to cover for longer than, you know, two to three seconds. It's four or five, six seconds when you're facing Mahomes. You're covering the entire you know, length and width of the field for, you know, many, many seconds at a time. And so you'll see Norwood here carry that receiver. Um, I think it's Pringle, you know, the whole way through and plaster to him. He's going to run with him, not give up on the play here. And then again, take a nice angle to the ball at the end and, and just compete and fight and break that pass up. So we'll look at it here uh, from the uh, end zone view. And so Norwood playing this dime backer type role played, you know, he was slot a little bit this season, kind of settled into more of a dime. I think it kind of, uh, Paired back his snaps, his responsibilities a bit, let him play a little more freely, uh, put less on his plate, and just allow him to play better overall. And so you'll see Norwood, it's kind of hard to see him from this angle, but um, again, just competing for the uh, football here, plastering that receiver the whole way through, and he's running, I mean, the entire you know width of the field here, essentially, middle of the field to start. Uh, Pringle runs to the right sideline. They get into the scramble drill. He turns it back. Norwood's going to run with him the entire way. And then nice job here to adjust, kind of get up field as Pringle starts to, starts to float a little bit at the top of the route here. And while it's not maybe the most technical play in the world, it's effective. And it's just a good effort play, good plaster. And, um, you know, coming to that game, that was one of those coaching points of, you know, Mahomes is going to break and contain. You're rushing three a lot this game. You're rushing four in this game as they do on this play. And so he's going to be able to extend some of these plays. And uh, you better be able to cover. And Norwood did. So to wrap up, I'm expecting Norwood to have an expanded role his sophomore year in 2022. He certainly deserved it. Um, there is going to be some question about what that role will look like. Um, he's not a strong safety type of guy. Uh, obviously, Mink is the free safety on this team, and you don't really want to move Fitzpatrick too much playing slot and stuff like that because they tried that early this year. That's just not where he's best or most comfortable um, playing. So you would think slot would be the best role for Norwood based on what's going to be available to him 
next season. The question there is going to be, will he be physical enough to play against the run and be an effective blitzer, areas where he wasn't as strong uh, this season. And so they like to have that Mike Hilton guy. That's why Millette was playing a lot on, on rundowns um, overall, but it's hard to take good coverage DBs off the field because it's hard to find those kind of guys. And Pittsburgh doesn't have a ton of them. I mean, there's better than what they once were, but um, you want to play a guy like Norwood on the field. Obviously he'll get, you know, rolled in, in dime packages at the very least and play in third down and two minute end the game and the half type stuff. But um, that's a guy whose role should probably expand because he's a, he's a good cover corner. He's good in man coverage. He's smart. They really raved about his football IQ. You see that in this play, understanding leverage and angles and route concepts and things like that playing in man and zone. So there's going to be a bit of a trickiness in, in defining that role for him. And if he can be more aggressive and more physical, then you really have a good slot corner. Um, Maybe Pittsburgh will have to scale back their standards and not look for them next to Mike Hilton, but just look for a good cover slot corner. We'll see what they do there. But Norwood, um, a guy to really watch in 2022. So that will do it for today's video. Glad to be back with you guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you have not done so already. Let me know what off-season content you guys would like to see. You want to get your feedback on what you would like to see over the next couple of weeks and months. Again, appreciate you watching, and we'll talk to you soon.